more people are using blackberries and uh, PDA type of devices. I'm using a Q. We've got a Palm Trio here as well. Wanted to talk today about the data plans for these things, what all the numbers mean and how you don't spend hundreds of not thousands of dollars uh, surfing the internet and uh, getting email on these guys. I've got Carlos Aparicio from London Drugs here to uh, help me understand some of the stuff and you really can start spending a, a truckload of money on these things if you're not careful and you don't have the right data plan. It's true, Mike. A lot of uh, new users uh, are excited about getting that content on their phones or not on their PDAs and don't quite realize of how much data they're actually receiving. So they sign up for an entry-level plan and uh, at the end of the month uh, are quite surprised at what the bill is because uh, you know uh, the average website will be about 192 KB uh, and uh, you know most plans start off at 4 megabytes which is very little, which is only four times of what that website. And it, it really does add up, and uh, you got to be careful. Well, I, I wanted to use, uh, just to, to go through some stuff, TELUS's right. uh, web rates here, and uh, obviously Bell and Rogers have very comparable ones, so we're kind of all in the same ballpark. But, uh, you know, you, you talked about that four megabyte plan, and, uh, you know, a lot of these carriers have those starting at around 25 bucks a month, and, and typically that's on top of your, your voice plan as Correct. well. So for 25 bucks, starting off, you get four megabytes, but I mean, you'd blow through that really quick. You, you would. Um, I mentioned uh, 192, 100, 200 KB. Um, for just like one web page? For one web page, and uh, 1,000 KB is one megabyte, just to explain uh, the KB portion of it. So you really could blow through four megs quite quickly, and uh, about 150 emails to 200 emails, depending on... Uh, on what's on them is about a, a megabyte. That's if they're just text. Text only. So if uh, you know, a lot of us now send things like PDF files, uh, Word documents, pictures of our kids, and all that, and it could really add up. Uh, one thing I highly recommend anyone who's doing any type of browsing on the internet with their PDAs or cell phones is on the internet browser itself on the PDA or on the cell phone. You can actually turn off the image uh, portion of it so that you're still receiving the content but you're not receiving these images that the, the web designer has put together on this website to make it absolutely amazing. Because really, you really want that information quickly and accurately, and the images generally aren't uh, important or yeah, significant. Yeah, I guess if you wanted those images, you could just turn it back on for a few of those web Exactly. Images. For a map, for example. Yes. If you needed a map from somewhere and you needed to, of course, then you'd want it on. But, you know, uh, CNN, for example, has lots of daily images on there. And you may not be interested in the images, you're just interested in the headlines, uh, and therefore, uh, the images won't take up your content or download capacity. So that was the $25 plan. They also have a, a $60 a month plan as well, and that's just again for data and email. And there you're getting a, a lot more uh, email and web traffic, I think 30 megabytes. But again, for someone that's downloading a lot of stuff, if you're doing any video or anything like video streaming, that again can go up pretty quick. It can, like, and, and one of the things with the higher rate plan too is that it does also reduce the dollar amount per megabyte if you go over that. Uh, I think before we said it was $12 per megabyte. In this situation, uh, you go down to $10. That's, so, that's not a lot. <laughs> well, when you're downloading a lot, it, it can be a yeah. savings in the long run. And you got to remember a lot of executives now are actually VPNing via their PDAs and their cell phones back to their office, which can be a lengthy process and a lot of information streaming back and forth. And, and it can become expensive. But for these people that are on the go, this is an important feature that they can now have access to their information while they're on the go. Uh, one thing to uh, keep in mind uh, is, again, to remind people to turn off the imaging on their, on their web browser so that they're not downloading major information because images and sound are what take up the most uh, bandwidth on your, uh, your web browser. But this, it, it gets really addictive. Uh, you know, I, I just, I use this thing all the time for email now and, uh, um, you know, Google Maps and, and things like that. Absolutely. So it, yeah. uh, it goes by pretty quickly. And, and obviously if you're spending more time on there, they do ha have even higher plans. I think they have a hundred dollar plan where you get 250 megabytes right. of traffic, which is quite a lot of traffic. It is, but like you said, if, if you, it does get quite addictive and there's people watching TV. Yeah. Uh, on these uh, PDAs and cell phones. You know, the bandwidth that you need for that and uh, the megabytes you need for that can be quite extensive. As you mentioned, video uh, on the go uh, does re take up a lot of megabytes. So I would say that anyone uh, wanting to watch TV on their cell phones would best be uh, advised to get uh, um, a large plan. One thing we haven't mentioned is, is that 
the carriers do offer you the ability to uh, find out how much you're going to require. So the introductory plans allow you to, uh, for the first month, the two months, uh, see what your uh, usage is. To get unlimited. Well, you can buy an unlimited plan for yeah. the first month to two months and see what your usage is going to be. Uh, and then you can talk to them and they'll actually reduce your plan oh, to I kind see. of what your average was for those two months. Yeah. And that's a good benefit to take advantage of um, because like you said, if, if you lock yourself into a, a low plan at the end of the month, you might be surprised of, uh, as to how much you actually use because it does become quite addictive. And one other uh, quick tip, if you're taking your PDA or your BlackBerry down to the States, it's expensive as well. There's a roaming data charge. So on top of the data charges that they're charging you up here, typically I think it's around six bucks a megabyte uh, when you're getting emails and surfing web pages and reading attachments. And we thought long distance calls were expensive. Exactly. It's nothing like roaming charges. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Carlos Aprecio from London Drugs talking all about the data plans.